guys back here in the garage doing some transmission work on the turbo 400 we got uh augustine here my brother the transmission brother. specialist hey, we're trying we're trying <laughs> so so you want to tell them like what you're going to change or and stuff like that well i mean we're trying to build this thing for drag racing so we got red yeah. alto clutch packs uh tsi trans brake uh, 34 element sprag that's sport uh, warner that's this one right here huh? yeah and then nice. this is an older th400 so we went and got some aluminum pistons for the direct and the forward drum i believe yeah okay so and um what's up with these clutch you're like so those are supposed to be like high performance clutches and i think the listing said like they're ready for like 1300 horsepower or something like that so i think like on a normal 400 you got like the intermediate drum has three clutches direct drum has five clutches and then the forward drum has five clutches also this kit upgrades it to four in the intermediate five uh seven in the direct drum and then six in the forward drum mm, so okay. you get it's kind of like on like a manual car where you get like a triple disc clutch just more clutches you get more clamping force from more area of the clutches nice nice so um so the this um this valve body it says from uh tci TSI. 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 Yeah, TSI. Okay. okay. Well, so what are you uh, replacing on the bottom there? Uh, so you just put in, that's the roll, rollerized output bearing. Uh, so that's, you got like a roller style bearing, which will be a little more effective than the original kind of like just washer style bearing the head on there yeah so now, we switch into like uh what is that roller, uh, roller bearing? bearing so roller bearing. yeah it should be a little bit easier on the output okay and then you just got a couple shims on there make sure you have the same spacing and play all right guys we're about to jump deep in this thing and um they, they have a lot of like transmission builds on the um on youtube and stuff like that so i think there is one guy um um what's his name is a a21 bravo yeah he's got a video on it um i think there's another guy mountains garage uh, at least those are two i know for the specific trans kit i'm gonna hit you guys up when we almost get through this trans hopefully go smooth yep. let's do it all right, guys. Update on the transmission, on the transmission bill. Um, this is how far we at. So, uh, Kofi is about to put in the what kind of the clutch? What kind of clutch is that, Kofi? Uh, this is the intermediate clutch and steels. So, I've already got this shaft, output shaft in there. Got our bevel snap ring in. Not snap ring, but. Yeah, snap ring, snap ring. Yeah, snap ring. All right, so we're like um, quarter way of this transmission build, yep. pretty much. We got our clutches soaking, so I'm about ready to throw in there. All right. So I'm gonna start off with a. So um, this kit, this kit have um, have more clutches than the regular. Than the. Than stock, so stock has three clutches and steels. The Alto Power Pack has four clutches and steels. Okay. So I just toss these in there. Yep. And then this, these have like a little notch, so I think I'm just gonna line them all up just for consistency. I don't know. Probably doesn't matter. So we have them all soaking together, but you can tell the difference because the intermediate clutches are the biggest ones. And then the 
direct and forward drum clutches are interchangeable. So you put um you put a steel first? Yeah, steel, then clutch, and then put another steel. Another clutch. Then another steel. So the last steel, last clutch. Okay, and then once you have all those, this is the like stock, it's like a really thick steel almost, it just holds everything together. You put the snap ring on top of this. And then I believe this only goes in one way because there's a whole bunch of notches this way and there's no notches here. So you just put the part with no notches in this big open area over here. Yep. So stop, you have this. Uh, snap ring so it's kind of wimpy it's not that big and what happens with these um, trans brakes you have a lot more pressure and what happens it ends up blowing this out so you end up upgrading to a bigger snap ring so they have these bigger ones I don't know if you guys can tell the difference but this is like a lot more it's a lot beefier yeah yeah, yeah it is. so you have two options you have this one as so an upgrade and then you have this one, which is a, sm a spiral snap ring. So, so this one comes with the the kit. Yeah, with the clutch kit. Mm -hmm. And this one is like aftermarket one that is a spiral. It's a spiral snap ring. A spiral snap ring, and that's supposed to be the one that just a little bit better. Oh, okay. So you don't you don't have the the opening here, so it doesn't really have as much play where this can like kind of like flex open under yeah. pressure but oh, this okay. has this is closed so it's kind of you get like a full seal almost all right cool. yeah so we're, we're gonna go with the spiral one spiral one's a little tricky to put in I'm just gonna play around with it this transmission bill you gotta really get your hand dirty huh oh yeah yeah, everything's gonna be soaked in transmission fluid by the time you're done. Yeah, that sounds like it's in. Yeah, I think she's in there. So that's not bring um hold all the clutch that you just put in there. Yep. Hold it down. So it holds down on this really thick steel right here, so can't pull these out anymore. So they're in there to stay. And we got another update for you guys, so uh if you decide to go with this kind of snap ring where there's that opening um so like i said you run the risk of under pressure these the ends of this flexing so they came up with this another part called a case saver uh transmission specialties makes it there's a part number if you don't decide to use it so basically what this does is it attaches to the side of the case right here So normally there'd be an opening right here. So if, like, if you had to use this one, you see how there's an opening right there. You put the case saver right here, so it helps to lock it down. So we're using a spiral snap ring, so it probably won't be as much of a problem. And this is probably overkill, but we're just putting it there because we don't feel like going back in this transmission <laughs> once we put it back together. Yeah. So basically what you do, stock there's a little peg right in here or a dowel so before you put everything together you knock the peg out so this will go right here this bolt goes here and then since we're doing a trans brake there's a little spring portion that goes inside of here and you just take that out we're not going to use it the trans brake that we have and then you have, comes with another screw that goes inside of here and then it screws into the case saver over here and then the bolt that you put through here comes out on this side and then we just put a little 
dab of Loctite on there. Then you put this nut right here. And that keeps hold the um case okay, saver in place. Okay. So just tighten this down. Okay. And then you can move on to your direct drum. Direct drum, uh, depending on all the mods that you want to do to it, we for example, this had a steel piston in it before, so I switched it out to a newer aluminum piston. Uh, you just have to take the snap ring off, then pull this top retainer off, and then pull the springs out, and then you can get to the piston. Uh, this is a newer 4L80 style drum because we decided to use a 34 element sprag so when you take this snap ring off and put this like little uh, sprag race on there there's a 34 element sprag this TH400 is uh, didn't have the smooth race for it to, for it to fit the 34 element sprag so we had to buy a 4L80 drum so it's a 4L80 drum and then all the only thing you have to do to it is just drill like a 1 16th hole in there for the trans brake. So it allows the drum to like bleed off extra pressure so you don't accidentally apply the piston. So. Okay. Yep. So we just gotta fill that with clutches now. Yep. And this is just, it's the same thing. Why, why they, um, why they always replace the, that, the, the pistons um, from the steel one to the aluminum. So I'll show you guys what the stock one looks like. So this is the aluminum one and here's the stock steel one. So basically you have this little steel ring in here that kind of just clamps down in there. And as you can see, it's just a steel ring and it's a really thin surface area for you to apply force onto the clutches. This has a much larger surface area, so it kind of like, is less. You apply um, even pressure to the clutch. Yeah, a little much. bit more even pressure. And then, you know, some people just worry about this popping loose inside of there. So it's just a little peace of mind. Okay. Fill these with clutches and steels. So this kit also part of the Alto Power Pack. So factory, you have five clutches and steels in here, and the Power Pack comes with se uh, seven, I believe, right? Yeah. Have one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. And then it comes with a new upper plate. Okay. So you just start throwing these in here too. Little steel, clutch, steel. And these I'm also just lining up by this flat spot 
right here just to keep everything oriented the same way. So that should be the last steel, last clutch, and then we have our top plate. So also when you're doing this, you want to check for clearances, but we don't have a feeler gauge. So a good rule of thumb is you want the clutch pack to be as close to this top uh, ring right here, where this top plate sits. So you want to be as close to there as possible without it actually touching the plate. That's just a rule of thumb, but if you look at like transmission building guides and books, They'll give you like a specific number you want to go by. So ours isn't touching and it's pretty close, so we're just going to toss this on top. And then the kit came with a snap ring also. She's in there. They're nice and tight. So then this just pick up like so. And this just drops straight down. Um, so try making your life a little bit easier. You can take a really small screwdriver and try to line up the previous clutches so that the little teeth on the drum uh, line up so it drops in a little bit easier. Okay. Yeah. So this part you just play around with until you hear metal on metal, meaning that the drum has seated all the way. I might have got a little lucky. Yep. Seems like it's in there. It's in there, huh? Some good. Sounds like metal on metal to me. Uh, all right. So what's next to that goes on that one? Well, that was the direct drum. So we still have the forward drum to do. Um, still the valve body to put on. So I'll give you guys another so on our third clutch pack. Going on to the forward hub. So. Just follow the same rules as the previous two, or you just want to alternate between uh, clutches and steels. So stock comes with five clutches and steels. This uh, auto power pack comes with six for this forward hub. So just going to start alternating these. One clutch. And generally you want to soak your clutches just so when you go for your first startup everything's already nice and lubricated. That was the last steel. Put our last clutch on. And then put on. So this one's a little different before you put on the last plate. There's like a central hub you have to put in here. So we're going to do the same trick again where you take a screwdriver and you try and line up the clutches so it makes your life a little bit easier to put the hub in. So you got like teeth, small yeah. teeth. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. small teeth on the clutches. Let's try this. Take it out. Check. So it looks like we just have one 
that's not lined up. Maybe try and move that one over. I need something very small. Here we go. put our top plate on. This top plate has teeth at the top, so good. That one just slides right on top of there. Then you put your snap ring on. Go grab the snap ring for that. Let's work it around. It snaps right in. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now I should probably wipe my hands off so I drop this thing. So then that forward hub goes on top of the direct room we just put in and kind of have the same process that we had putting that hub in where we need to line up the teeth. Otherwise we're going to be here all day. So you want to line up the teeth on the clutches in the direct room. When you go to put the forward drum in, it just slides right in. Yeah, you really gotta play with those, huh? Yep. It's all about lining up clutches. And now that this pack has like more clutches than factory, it makes your life even harder. But that's the price you pay when you try to go fast. I think we're in there. Sounds good. So we just got a couple of pump modifications and then Throw on the valve body, and we should be good to go. Okay. Uh, I gotta wait for the, um, I forget to order the, the, the pump seal. The, seal the pump gasket? Yeah, the pump gasket, so, um, gotta wait a couple of days for that so I could finish up this thing. That's it for tonight. You wanna do the? Sure, I'll do it. All right. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one.